Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center row fully inscribed uh, in a trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle is uh, 6 units. And moreover, this side uh, C, D is uh, 13 units. And this side uh, C, D is uh, tangent to this semicircle at this point uh, E. And furthermore, uh, this side uh, AD is uh, x units, whereas uh, this side uh, BC is y. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x and uh, y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And we know the radius uh, of this semicircle has been given to us as uh, 6 uh, units. And since uh, this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this semicircle, so this is going to be 6. And likewise, this uh, OB is radius as well. So this is going to be 6 as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, length uh, AB, which is the diameter, is going to be 12 uh, units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, point E is the point of tangency. So therefore, uh, this uh, line uh, CD has been divided into these uh, two parts, uh, DE and this uh, EC. And now let's recall the two tangent theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, uh, then they are uh, congruent, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see that this segment uh, AO is going to be equal to this segment uh, OB. So therefore, we are going to apply this uh, theorem on our this uh, given problem. And we can see that this uh, tangent uh, AD is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, DE. If this segment is uh, X, then this uh, DE segment is going to be X as well. And likewise, uh, this side uh, BC is going to be equal to this segment uh, EC. If this segment is Y, then this segment is going to be Y as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, line uh, CD is going to be equal to X uh, plus Y. So therefore, I can write uh, CD line equal to X uh, plus uh, Y. And we know this uh, side uh, CD is uh, 13 units uh, as well. And we know that uh, CD length uh, is uh, 13. So therefore, we conclude that uh, our this uh, X plus Y is going to be equal to 13. So I can write X plus Y equals to 13. I am going to label this our equation uh, number 1. And here in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, CF uh, on this side uh, AD. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, DFC. And now let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, ABCF. We can see that this side length uh, BC is equal to this side length uh, AF. If this side length is Y, then this uh, AF length is going to be Y as well. And moreover, if this uh, diameter AB, which is uh, 12, then this uh, side uh, FC is going to be 12 units uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, AD length uh, is uh, X and this uh, AF length uh, is uh, Y. So therefore, uh, this uh, DF length is going to be X minus Y. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DFC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 13. And our two other legs are 12 and X uh, minus Y. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to put down uh, X uh, minus Y whole uh, square plus uh, 12 square equals to 13 uh, square. And now let's simplify. We can write uh, x minus uh, y whole uh, square 
and this 12 square is same as 144 equal to 13 square on the right hand side is 169 and now I am going to subtract 144 from both sides and here we can see that this 144 and negative 144 is gone so therefore we are ended up with the x minus y whole square equals to 25 on the right hand side and now I am going to take the square root on both sides to undo this uh, square I'm going to take a uh, square root on the right hand side uh, as well and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore our x uh, minus y value turns out to be positive or negative 5 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, x length uh, is uh, larger than this uh, length y so therefore we can write uh, x is uh, bigger than y if we move uh, y on the other side then x uh, minus y must be greater than uh, 0 so therefore we conclude that this uh, x minus y cannot take this uh, negative value so therefore uh, we conclude that x minus y must be equal to positive 5 value only. I'm going to label this as our equation uh, number 2. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations and we are going to solve this system uh, for uh, x value and y value as well. And now we are going to add uh, these two equations. And if we add these equations, positive y and negative y, they are gone. So we ended up with 2x uh, equals to 18. Let me divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, x. So therefore, our x value turns out to be 9 uh, units. And now we are going to substitute this uh, x equal to 9 value in this uh, equation 1. Wherever we see x, uh, I'm going to replace it by 9. So therefore we can write uh, 9 plus uh, y equals to 13. Let me subtract uh, 9 from uh, both uh, sides to isolate uh, y. And here we can see 9 negative 9 is gone. So therefore uh, our y value turns out to be 4 units. So thus our x value turns out to be 9 units and our y value is uh, 4 units. In other words, uh, this x uh, side length is going to be 9 units and this uh, y side length is going to be 4 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.